The composite engineering BQM-167 Skeeter is a subscale aerial target drone developed and manufactured by Composite Engineering Inc. acquired by Kratos Defense and Security Solutions and operated by the United States Air Force and certain international customer air forces designation BQM-167I. It has replaced the Beechcraft MQM-107 Streaker aka Calcara in Australia. Topic history The BQM-167 was developed and manufactured by Composite Engineering Inc. now part of Kratos Defense and Security Solutions, and is constructed of carbon fiber and epoxy-based materials. Two prototype targets were built and test flown in 2001. The BQM-167A was selected as the next generation Air Force subscale aerial target in July 2002. A total of six targets were built for use during the Flight Performance Demonstration phase with its first flight 8 December 2004. A total of 13 FPD launches were made into March 2006. First acceptance testing was completed in August 2006, then pre operational testing consisted of 13 test flights using production targets from August 2006 to June 2007. The first BQM-167 air-to-air missile live fire mission took place 7 February 2007. Initial operational capability was achieved in 2008. Each target cost USD $570,000. Operation The 82nd Aerial Target Squadron operates and maintains the target at Tyndall Air Force Base, Florida. The drone is land launched using a rocket assisted takeoff and launched from a rail system, and recovered on land or sea using a parachute system. After assessment and refurbishment, the drone is placed back into service. The USAF has had 37 in inventory. topic UTAP22 On the 23rd of November 2015, Kratos completed the second flight of its self-funded unmanned tactical aerial platform UTAP22, a development of the BQM167A converted into a low-cost unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV. The test involved collaborative airborne operations with a manned AV-8B Harrier fighter for 94 minutes demonstrating command and control through a tactical data link, autonomous formation flying with the AV-8B, and transfer of UTAP-22 control between operators in a tactical network and then to an independent control link. The 6.1 meters (21 feet) long turbojet-powered aircraft can travel at Mach 0.91 (693 miles per hour, 1,115 kilometers per hour) up to an altitude of 50,000 feet (15,000 meters) with a maximum range of 1,400 nmi (1,600 miles, 2,600 kilometers) and an endurance of three hours. It can carry a 159 kilograms, 351 pounds internal payload, a 227 kilograms, 500 pounds external payload and has a 45 kilograms, 99 pounds capable weapon hardpoint on each wing. The platform is recoverable on land or at sea using a parachute system. In May 2017, the UTAP-22 received the official name Mako. The aircraft costs between $2 to $3 million. Topic: Operators. United States United States Air Force. Topic: Specifications. Data from general characteristics Crew, none Length, 20 feet 6 .1 meters. Wingspan, 10.5 feet 3 .2 meters. Height, 4 feet 1 .2 meters. Empty weight, 690 pounds 313 kilograms. 
Max takeoff weight 2050 pounds 646 kilograms Power plant 1 times 1x microturbo tri 60 to 5 plus turbojet 990 lbf 4.4 kilonewtons performance Maximum speed 0.93 Mach 600 knots sea level Cruise speed 230 knots sea level Service ceiling 50000 feet MSL 15000 meters 50 feet AGL min 8 meters min 9G turns, recovered by a parachute recovery system either from land or water avionics IR and RF tow targets, IR and RF wing pods, chaff, flare dispensing, vector and scalar scoring. <laughs> 